All right, Chris, thank you. Well, Barra is sure to change the plans for many vacationers this holiday weekend. The storm didn't stop people from heading to Tybee today, despite the fact the waters were off limits to beachgoers. So what's going on right now at Tybee? We go live there to WSAD's Andrew Davis. Andrew, what's the situation? Are you seeing the ocean begin to swirl a lot around a lot more now? Oh, the ocean was definitely swimming earlier. Chris actually warned me that the big rain band was coming because I didn't have even broken out my rain gear about 15 minutes ago. Then it started coming down in sheets out here. Everybody that was out at the beach that were looking around, checking out the waves, looking at the beach, they immediately ran in and realized that this was a serious storm and this isn't just something to play around with. I'll tell you, it's been nice out here. It's been very windy. A lot of folks just sort of enjoying their Memorial weekend right up until this rain band hit. She told me 15 minutes, she was dead on with that one. So, but before that, we really talked to a lot of folks who said, why not, it's a holiday, we're just gonna enjoy it and see what happens. Winds whipping trees and bushes, blowing up to 45 miles an hour, but not fast enough to stop a lot of folks from enjoying their holiday. If you weren't on a party bus, you were probably taking pictures on the pier. The weather not stopping the smiles of the Alvarez family. <laughs> we have one more day left. We're from the D.C. metro area, and uh, we wanted to let them experience this uh, storm and uh, have something to talk about when I go back to school next week. <laughs> Hundreds of folks packed the Tybee Pier to walk around, stand, and look, or try to catch the big one or the little ones, too. But while the fishermen were happy, some of their wives, not so much. Are you enjoying this? No. <laughs> I'm nine months pregnant, so I'm not. I was say, you look like you're having the worst yeah, no. time, so. Trying to keep the sand off my face. <laughs> Some people decided a little sand in the face, big waves and wind were just what they wanted, at least for now. Others decided it was time to pound the pavement in search of an adult beverage or some barbecue and ice cream. People has been coming in by the droves. I don't think people have come from so far distant for a little rain to turn and deter. It's something about being at the edge of the earth, you know, just the danger and the excitement of it, so. I'll tell you, I wanted to show you guys the last three diehards left on the beach right here. Sorry, four diehards, because there's a real one right here. So why stay out in this weather? Oh, we just came. We thought we wanted to see it. We came for the last hurricane. Okay, well, there it is. So last tropical storms, go inside and get dry right we now. Are. So we appreciate it. So you never know who's going to be out here. Right now, we're telling everybody, stay off the beach. Stay dry as much as possible. That's my plan, too. But I'll see you guys in just a few minutes and give you an update on the conditions out here, how bad that wind is blowing, and we'll see how bad it comes up to be. All right, Andrew, thanks so much. Obviously, a lot of people uh, fascinated by this weather and some really enjoying it. Well, Landfall, if we are going to take you live again to Tybee Island. That is where our Andrew Davis is right now. Of course, the beach was closed to folks willing uh, to hang out there today and enjoy themselves, but they just were not able to stick their feet in the water. Andrew, what's happening out there right now? Well, I'll tell you, Tina, a lot of people went with that idea of not getting in the water, but there were a lot of folks on the beach and on the pier. They wanted to see everything. A lot of fishermen out there. We saw a few folks catch some sharks. Right now, though, Tybee's a ghost town compared to the way it was just about an hour ago. People were at the bars. People were enjoying themselves. Big rain gust came in, and gusty is the wind, wind type to call this, definitely. And then everybody just bailed out and said, it's time to go home. We'll watch WSAV on TV. We'll watch whatever we can and see this storm come in from the comfort of our own house instead. My photographer, Ardo Timo, and I, though, are braving the weather for you. Gusty winds, big bursts of wind coming in. The rain has slacked off significantly since the last time I talked to you. And now, much more, it's big gusts of winds, little bit of rain. We know there's another band coming in, because you can almost feel that happening. The good news is everybody seems to be very safe away from the beach, away from the water. Ocean Rescue seemed to have a good day. I talked to Police Chief Bob Bryson earlier, said perfect day. No major problems. He was very happy with the way it is, and he hopes it continues on from there. So over on Tybee, we're good so far, just uh, getting a little wet and a little winded on. That's about it. So Tina, we'll send it back to you, and we'll keep it here for you all night. Andrew, I have a quick question for you. Of course, this weekend is usually a very big weekend for the restaurants and businesses. I'm just wondering how they did. Uh, perhaps Andrew can get that information to us a little bit later. I'm being told I need to get to a break, so we'll be right back, everybody. Stay with us.